care of me, for, for keeping me safe. Yeah. No, I owe you my life. Well, you don't gotta make it out like I'm some kind of a hero. Well, you are. You uh, are to me. This is my reputation we're talking about. I don't know what I would have done without you, Todd. I do. I, I owe you my life. The guy's gone, all right? All the guys from the O'Brien gang, they're all gone. They're not coming back. They're gone. You mean I don't have to pretend I'm in Switzerland somewhere crazy? I don't have to be in Switzerland? No. I don't have to stay here. I can go outside. I'm not stuck here anymore. Nope, you're not stuck. <sighs> you're free to go whenever you want. I guess, huh? I don't know what you're waiting for. It's over. to be hiding out, remember? Not anymore. I can come and go as I please. What do you mean? You know the bad guy? Mm -hmm. The one that was after me? He was arrested. So we don't have to pretend to play this game anymore. We can go home, Star. Home? Yeah. But what about Dad? Well, Dad is the reason. He saved the day. He rescued me. Mom just got to the chase. I love your daddy, Star, and he loves me. And? And? We're all gonna be together! Really? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> you guys were good. You were very good. You almost had me fooled. What about this, huh? I gotta get combat pay. I gotta hit you again. You almost put Blair in the hospital. Yeah, what was I supposed to do? Better call the real cops, then we'd all get busted. Yeah, well, she's okay. So you guys can get out of here, you know? We're done. Here's my headshot. If you ever need another actor... You're kidding, right? Huh? No. You need to get out of here. Don't be sticking around to be doing any regional theater or anything. I'm already booked next month. We'll cancel it. Nobody can know that I forced Blair into hiding. Now get out of here. The storm of change is coming. They created the characters you love and the stories you couldn't get enough of. Now the Emmy Award winning writers are back and they're better than ever. Landview will never be the same. The storm of change is coming to One Life to Live, ABC Daytime. Would you look at me out in the big bad world? Yeah, look at you in the big bad world. You know what I feel like? I feel like I've run a marathon. So why don't you join me in the celebration and do a little jogging? No, no, Time no. When I got thrown off the football team, I made a vow that I would never again do a wind sprint. <laughs> Come on, it's just a little jogging celebration. I want to feel the wind in my hair. I want to take in all the fresh air. What? You go and uh, have your little jog. I got a phone call. I got to make. 
what? I kind of feel like I've been in prison because of that mobster. And you freed me. I love you so much, Todd. Oh. It's with you. Come on, it's time to celebrate. I'm free, and you are my hero. No, I, look, I, I'm, I'm nobody's hero. Oh, yes. Now, what are you talking about? You just saved me from that mobster killing me. I think that is pretty heroic. And you let me stay at, at your house. You put up with my uh, bad attitude, my bad moods, my complaining. And you did. You complained about everything. Yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> what is wrong? It's nothing. I, I just, I don't think I really should have left you alone like that. Todd, how would you know that that guy was going to come in? I, I did. mean, you what? I knew. When you made those plans to go out with Sam, you know, I had this feeling in my gut. That's why I called the feds. And then, if anything had happened to you, it would have been my fault. And then, you know, no, no, nobody out dinner with. You know, no wonder I fell in love with you all over again. You always act like everything is like no big deal. But you have a heart bigger than anybody, Todd. Yeah. So, hey, when do I get to testify against the shooter? Justify. Yeah, I mean, I can just see him right now standing over Suzanne's body. Yeah, that, that was rough. Oh, it's, it still just it totally gives me the chills. Suzanne, we, why'd she have to die, Todd? I mean, she was such a sweet, innocent little girl, and she's loved Jack and Star so much. Yeah, she did. I guess giving that guy the death penalty isn't going to bring her back. You know, and then now's probably a good time for you uh, to get some good news that I have to give to you. Okay. What's that? You don't have to testify. What? You don't even need to go downtown at all. What, what? Todd, I'm the only person who saw who killed Suzanne. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm going to let that shooter get away with that, Todd. Well, it's not like the guy's gonna get away with anything. He shot Suzanne in cold Look, blood. There's no right. telling what. He's not gonna walk for that. That's right, he's not gonna walk. Well, after I finish testifying, there's no way he's gonna walk anywhere. You can't test. What? It, look, the guy's wanted in like 13 states, right? They don't need you to testify. Really? Really. It's like take a number with that guy. I mean, they're, they're, they're lining up to figure out who's gonna shove the needle in. Well, you know what? It just doesn't seem fair to me. I think that I should be able to testify. I mean, for Suzanne's sake, Todd. Yeah, but by the time they, they even get to the trial in Pennsylvania, he'll be living in a coffin. So what am I supposed to do? Just forget it all happened? Yeah. And you're supposed to, to think about what Jack's face looks like the first time he sees you in the morning. Or how much you want to see Star's Christmas pageant next year. We do. Now go, go, go. Take your run, and you can get all gooey about okay. the fresh air. Okay. Well, you know what? When I get back, I think we should plan a little getaway, a little trip. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll go to the movies. No. I'm talking about like renting a little ski house up in the mountains, and then we can cuddle up by the fire. Want to go to Florida? Florida? <laughs> okay, Florida. I mean, I don't care because there's just so many things that I want to do. You're right, and we'll do all of them. You know what? I gotta go now. I gotta go talk to Briggs at the sun, make sure that he's gonna, you know, take care of everything for a while. So you can spend time with the kids? Yeah, and, and you too. Look, I'll be at the penthouse. So go for your run. Happy jogging. Okay.